So a really well pitched, really well played game all around. Um, Kenta retired 16 of the final 17 batters that he faced. How did you see him start to just kind of settle in tonight? Yeah, Kenta was uh, was spectacular tonight uh, from the very beginning. Um, he had tremendous uh, a command and execution of his of his off speed pitches. Um, he saw some really good left handed hitters tonight some really good hitters overall i mean they have they have a good lineup but some really elite guys that he attacked and and you saw him pitching with that uh, that split change um it was extremely effective i think he had great feel for it tonight um he i mean he i don't know how anyone could pitch much better i mean he uh he pitched us into a spot in the game where you're really considering just leaving him in and letting him continue to uh, go. Um, it was kind of a longer, it was a little bit of a longer inning uh, after his last inning of work where uh, there was a lot going on on the offensive end for us. Um, so instead of leaving him to sit there and, and wait it out, uh, we wanted to, to get uh, Trevor in there and let him cover the next inning. But um, like I said, Kenta was, uh, he was just awesome. And to see No hit those two homers, he talked to us about watching video from 2017 and 2015 and working on his hands in particular. How much work have you seen him put in the last week or so? Yeah, I mean, he's he's definitely putting in the work. He's putting in the time. Um, last year when we saw Miguel uh, really kind of step things up in a big way, it was kind of overnight. It was it was literally he showed up one day. He decided that he was going to make an adjustment. Uh, he knew that you know he was going to have to shorten up a little bit in some ways in some parts of his swing, and he just did it. He just went out there and did it. Uh, found a way to found a way to make an adjustment that you know is not an easy adjustment to make. And he was uh, pretty dynamic from that point on in the season. And that, that's those are the kinds of swings that we saw tonight. And when he I mean when he barrels the ball up I mean it. It doesn't look the the same when he does it as when as when most people uh, most human beings do it. I mean, he hits the ball so so hard, and uh, you know balls that I said to Mike Bell. I said, you know, good major league hitters hit the ball just like that, and it ends up you know one hopping the fence. It's a you know a line drive, really hard hit line drive, and it one hops the fence. You know, when Miguel hits a ball like that. I mean, it, it knocks chairs down in the bleachers, and, and he can do things like that. So um, it was really nice to see tonight. Dope. Talking with uh, Kenta, he's made quite the first impression, I think. Is it more meaningful that his two great starts thus far come against the White Sox and the Indians, two teams that are ostensibly your primary challengers for the AL Central? Yeah, it's. I mean, it, it, it is great to see. I mean... Uh, anytime you anytime you get starts like that, regardless of who you're playing, they're big they're big pick me ups. We know we have a short season here. We have uh, you know a lot of games uh, in our division. We 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 know all those things, um, but I think I think we are going to get uh, those types of performances from Kenta and that type of uh, preparation and execution, regardless of of who we're playing. But knowing that. Uh, you know, Kent is going to see these guys a lot, um, and and watching him go out there and his initial uh, his initial visual was very very impressive. Well, hey, Rocco, was Lindor wondering about the uh, how the buyout box was drawn up? What was that delaying the first inning all about? Yeah, it was uh, it was chalk related, and um, ultimately. Uh, uh, you know, the grounds crew here does a great job. We know what kind of field we have and the kind of work that goes uh, goes on out there. And it was it was checked, and uh, Larry came out, and the umpires took a look. And the the field's right. I, I'm not sure what um, what everyone was was looking at. Maybe there were some you know minor uh, changes that maybe somebody noticed, or something just optically looked uh, different. But everything was regulation. So I don't I don't know uh, I don't know what else to. To think about it or say about it, uh, they checked it. It was right, and and we kept playing. Yeah. It looked like their dugout was giving it to Lindor during that time. Probably, and and we would uh, we would probably do the same with our guys too. Dan. Hey Rocco, I think dating back to uh, Dobnak in Chicago, what's this run of starting pitching been like for you guys? 
Yeah, our, our starters have, have carried us in a, in a big, big way. Um, you know, when you put a, a, a couple of runs on the board, whether it's, whether it's two or three or, you know, five or six, whatever it is, and, and your starters go out there and immediately, um, you know, shut down the other side. And whether, whether it's for an inning or two, I mean, those types of moments in the game become very big. I mean, the momentum, um, you know, doesn't start swinging back and forth. Uh, and, and to be able to do that after your team puts on, uh, put some runs on the board, um, not always the easiest thing to do. There, there are letdowns. There is momentum and, you know, enthusiasm differences depending on what's going on in the game. But our guys have just continued to stay calm, go out there, pitch, make good pitches, and, and put us in a, in a good spot. And, uh, you know, the, the, to also watch Kent to do it tonight and do it efficiently, um, I think in, a, in a, a different environment or a different game, you know, we could have seen him obviously pitch even longer tonight. Um, and I think, I think we'll see that going forward at times. John? Yeah, how, how fun is this to, to watch guys like Kent tonight with Rocco and Hill and Vic Bailey? Because they're not just pitching, they seem to be each in their own way practicing their craft. How, how much of a pleasure from your spot in the dugout is this to watch guys who look to be consummate pros? Yeah, when you when you see guys that uh, that have that type of uh, career experience, and and you finally get a chance to see what it's all about and how they've gotten to this point in their careers, it is fun. It's fun for baseball people. I'm sure it's it's a lot of fun for everyone at home watching along. Um, you you do realize like guys, and we say this, guys don't get to this point in their career by accident, by chance, and on just talent alone. Uh, they do it with all of the other things. Of course, they have great ability, but they do it with their routines. They do it with uh, you know, the adjustments that they make during the games. And, and we're seeing that from Rich, uh, from Kenta, from Homer. We, we've gotten to see that from all those guys, just why they, they are good at what they do. And uh, I'm sure these guys continue to make adjustments and grow and, and, and improve even, even at this point in their careers. And I'm sure we'll continue to see it. Rock, you want to share tomorrow's news? Yeah. Um, we have some other news too. Tomorrow, uh, Clip uh, is going to open the game for us. Um, we're going to push uh, uh, Homer back uh, one day, uh, and Homer is going to pitch against Pittsburgh. Um, and I, it's basically this is a recovery thing. This is with everything that's going on in the game, with everything going on with our schedule, uh, with everything going on with you know playing a lot of games coming up in not a ton of days. I would I would call it uh, recovery related, and just making sure that our guys are equipped to to go forward and to continue uh, pitching well and and making their starts and being ready to go. Any follow up questions before we let Rocco go? Okay, guys. Or Judd, go ahead. Who, who, who is going to follow Clifford? If you can tell us. So we're gonna we're gonna wait uh, to. Uh to, to announce that. Um, it's going to depend on what goes on in the game. I mean, when teams open relievers, I mean, this is just a general statement, but when teams open relievers, it, it's not a firm second person coming in the game. It, it almost never uh, uh, will be, at least for us. So depending on what happens, I think we could see a, a couple of different people coming in and, and pitching some uh, bulk innings for us.